If you've got no Lloyds whatsoever in a room, then the Logitech Brio 300 will actually give you a more visible image, but you can expect quite a lot of grain to the picture. With natural light coming in through the window, and the stream cam will perform better in this scenario, as it seems to handle that auto exposure a little better than the Brio 300. And as well as that, the image crispness is better on the stream cam. When we use a small ring light in front of us, you will notice that we are overexposed on the Brio 300, but that does disappear when we move a little further away away from the light source. For the overall image quality, I would still say that the stream cam performs better than the Brio 300. When removing a green screen, they both perform just as well as each other, so you shouldn't have any issue with this. When we focus on a small object, then they both struggle the closer you get to the lens. The Brio 300 is a fixed lens, so this was expected, but the stream cam is an autofocus lens, and we could only get it to autofocus when we actually use the Logitech software. There's a 78 degree field of view on the stream cam, so quite a a lot of your background will be displayed and the Brio 300 only has a 70 degree field of view so it will be more narrow meaning that less of your background will be on display. I'm currently using the dual mono microphone. We are now using the stereo microphone. This is a microphone test using the Logitech Brio 300. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the inbuilt microphone. The video on screen is for the full review of the Logitech Streamcam where we go through the software and show you all the extra features.